Pacific Theater's Cinerama Dome, located at Sunset Boulevard, just west of Vine Street, is not a movie palace in the classic sense. The unique architecture of the Cinerama Dome is much different from most movie theaters. It's a geodesic dome and was designed to present widescreen Cinerama films. In 1962, uh, Cinerama came to an agreement to build up to 300 of these concrete geodesic domes around the world built specifically to show films in the Cinerama process. Cinerama was the first of the modern day widescreen film processes. Cinerama used a camera that shot three pieces of 35 millimeter film at one time. In the projection booth, it took three projectors to project that back out onto the screen. And it was basically three separate images that, that were joined to form a uh, wide panoramic view. The film that first employed this technology, This is Cinerama, opened in 1952 in only 30 theaters, but still was the top grossing film of the year. With its enormous screen size, seven channel stereoscopic sound, Cinerama created a huge sensation. The Cinerama screen is not a flat screen like you see in a conventional theater. Uh, it is curved anywhere from 120 degrees to 146 degrees. So it really fits well into basically a round building. In a conventional theater, Movie screens are a reflective fabric perforated to allow sound to pass through from speakers located behind. The original Cinerama screens were made of the same material, but they were strips three quarters of an inch wide, like Venetian blinds, only, uh, only vertical. And a Cinerama screen was made up of as many as 2,200 of these individual strips. Each one of them was angled toward the projector that that particular part of the screen was going to uh, be, uh, be projected on so that the light would shine back at the audience. The reason we went to the solid screen is because between 1963 and 1972, and a little bit later than that, Hollywood came up with the concept of a subwoofer that, that would rattle the floor or whatever. You get really deep bass notes and so forth. A subwoofer pushes air. At the dome right now, we have 12 subwoofers behind the screen. And if we would have that ribbon screen or that louvered screen, when Spider-Man you know, uh, hits a bus and a car together or whatever, the air would move all those uh, louvers and it looked like the film had a thousand scratches on it. With the arrival of television, movie audiences fell off steeply. Cinerama, however, had drawn in audience and succeeded at the box office. Cinerama was an enormous success, but it was also very expensive and difficult to produce films and to project them. Little more than a year after the introduction of Cinerama, 20th Century Fox released The Robe using the Cinemascope widescreen process. Cinemascope used a single 35 millimeter reel of film and special anamorphic lenses to optically squeeze panoramic images onto a standard frame of film. When the film was projected, the lens system unsqueezed the image, providing an expanded horizontal image. While Cinerama was the first successful modern widescreen process and the first to provide stereophonic sound, it was soon competing with a number of other widescreen processes, including VistaVision, Tadeo, Superscope, and others. Constructed in only 16 weeks, the dome opened with the premiere of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World in November 1963 and marked the introduction of single lens Cinerama. By the time this theater had opened, the three strip Cinerama process had been abandoned in, uh, in favor of anamorphic 70 millimeter, which had the same aspect ratio as the three strip Cinerama but you used one piece of 65 millimeter negative, one lens, the sound was on the film. 
And so this theater opened with the first single strip Cinerama picture. It wasn't actually filmed in Cinerama, it was presented in Cinerama. As movie theaters moved from single screens to multiplex cinemas, by the late 1990s, the dome was in danger of being torn down. Declared a historical cultural monument in 1998, Pacific Theaters developed the arc light cinema concept and built a 14 screen multiplex adjacent to the Cinerama Dome, making it part of the arc light complex. We never played a Cinerama film in this theater until 2002 when we installed the three uh, strip uh, Cinerama equipment. The dome was refurbished, an advanced sound system was installed, and three Cinerama projectors were added to present Cinerama motion pictures in their original format. One of only three such theaters in the world, the dome presents a three strip Cinerama to new generations of filmmakers and audiences. For 50 years and more, the Cinerama Dome has provided the finest in motion picture technology and entertainment. With its 86 foot wide screen, advanced acoustics, the latest digital projection systems, and 70 millimeter film capacity, the Cinerama Dome remains a favorite for firm premieres and exclusive first run motion pictures.